Hello everybody. Uh, this is our new tutorial. Uh, but today I will learn um, how to solve a thermodynamic math problem using a cutter, which is basically a Python package. Um, there are very powerful tools in Python to solve different kinds of math problems. So we, we will uh, use the Cantera package for Python today. So here is our uh, uh, problem statement. Well, uh, this is a gas turbine uh, figure. You get it from there. Uh, there is a combustor. Then the flue gas from the combustor goes into the turbine, then turning it and uh, generates some power. Here are some uh, parameters are given like the turbine inlet temperature which is known as TIT is uh, 1520 degrees Celsius the pressure is like that the mass flow rate is given and the flue gas outlet pressure is given and also the flue gas the composition is given here you can see it from there so we have to uh, calculate the power of the gas turbine here <coughs> so we will solve the a problem using uh, Cantera, mm, but uh, first of all, we have to know the basic theory of a gas turbine. Like here, we know that uh, in a gas turbine, mm, the, uh, the uh, process is actually an uh, uh, isentropic uh, process, so uh, that means entropy remains fixed here. So, for each point, we actually need uh, two different uh, parameters to fix that point. Like here, uh, pressure and uh, temperatures are given at that point in the inlet point, and the, for the outlet, the only the uh, pressure is given. But we know that entropy of that point is also same for this. So using this theory, we will solve this. So let's go to Python first. Well, uh, we will go to Cantera as CT. Then we will declare the pressures. Let's say for pressure and temperature of the point 1, the temperature was 1520 degrees Celsius, and if we convert it to Kelvin, then we have to add 273. The pressure was um, 9.14 bar. Point one four. Now, if we want to convert it to SI unit, that into 10 to the 5 and for outlet the pressure is um, 1.099 bar 0 10 to the 5 or the assignment so we will first fix the fluid composition which is we will copy and paste it from in Python. Well, you can see that the structure of the composition is what we need here. The structure is kind of a dictionary variable, uh, and which is um, all the parameters are inside inverted commas and then after colon and the composition. This is the standard format we will use here. So now we have to we have to um, define our gas here the gas composition let's say gas blue sorry flue gas supposed to be uh, call city dot solution which is gri dot cti okay now we will uh, define the other uh, parameters here like tbx sorry so that means we have to define the temperature pressure and composition here temperature is t1 pressure is p1 <coughs> and the composition is progress composition well fluid composition sorry now it is defined here 
Okay. Now we have to we have to get the enthalpy from that case. You know that the fluid is uh, defined here, the completely defined here because the temperature, pressure, and compositions are given in in that particular class. So you know, we cannot get the enthalpy here. So fluid as Enthalpy, we will get the mass enthalpy here. Okay, and we can name it H1. Enthalpy mass. Now we have to get the enthalpy from the second part. We can see that at that part. So at that point, only the, the pressure is known. Okay, but we know that there is. Uh, other parameters like the composition will be fixed and the entropy will be fixed here. So we we'll use that theory here. So now two gas again the same gas, okay? But uh, but at that point I we'll use S P X because S means entropy here. S means entropy here. P is Pressure and X is a composition, so the entropy is same. So it is none. Pressure is and X is also same, so it is none here. Now we will call H2. So yes, enthalpy mass. Well, the other parameter was here, which is M mass flow rate. Which was uh, 92.91, 92.91 kg per second. All those are in SI units, okay? So now we got H1, H2, and we also have the mass for it. So now we compute the work of it, the power of it. Basically, I'm um, multiplied by each one minus each one. Now we'll print out. Each one, each two. So if we run put everything this on let's run this mm, there is some problem here mm, the line sixteen problem is yes maybe oh. I can't give none here because the composition will the composition. So let's run this again. Now we got this. So our output is this one. So if we want to see it in a megawatt, uh, one from the number six. So this is in megawatt, I think, at 2.57. <coughs> well, now we got actually the H1 value, H2 value, and the uh, power output value here, which is in megawatt. Okay. <coughs> So that we solve the new line, and we can we can write the equation as two. Okay, 
So we have solved this problem actually. Uh, we now know that uh, the power output is around 82 megawatt of this turbine. We can um, create some parameters like if we, if we change the inlet temperature to 1400 degrees Celsius. 1400 degrees Celsius. Let's see what the changes in that. As expected, the megawatt actually drops to 76.8. So, this way we can also change the input pressure here to 8.1 now. So let's see. So, also, so it goes down to 84.5. Sorry, goes up to 84.5. So, this way we can tweak some parameters uh, and and can see how much changes it made to. Output here. So, thanks again.